Hey, it's Aaron here and this video has been requested so many times I absolutely have to do it for you guys. So in this video I'll show you every single setting that I use personally when creating unique content and I'll explain why these settings are the best recommended settings for most people. Now if you've never used Spin Rewriter before you should check out our how to rewrite an article from start to finish video tutorial first and you'll probably find it on this page just below this video tutorial. But if you're already using Spin Rewriter to create the unique content that you need and you're looking for the best settings to use, this is the video for you. So let's get started and let me walk you through my preferred settings. Let's go here to rewrite a single article and we'll find ourselves in step one. Now here we need to enter an article. I've prepared the same article we've been using for a long time now in our demos. So as you can see we got the number of words here and everything and it's been auto saved so we can come back to it later if we were to leave step one for whatever reason. But we're talking about settings today. So here's how I do it. I go into settings and in terms of ENL semantic spinning features, so automated high level rewrites on sentence and paragraph level, here's what I do. I tell Spin Rewriter to automatically rewrite sentences. What this means is Spin Rewriter will change some of the sentences where applicable and then add those altered sentences into the spin text of the generated articles. So I tell Spin Rewriter also to automatically rewrite entire paragraphs because sometimes Spin Rewriter can adjust the sentence structure inside paragraphs in ways that makes it even more unique and just as readable. So definitely we want this. I usually skip this option because a lot of times I want to make sure that the generated unique articles are roughly the same length as the article I started with. So I don't want Spin Rewriter to write new paragraphs or create additional summaries at the end all that often. So I usually leave this setting off. Now, I definitely tell Spin Rewriter to automatically change the structure of phrases and sentences because this is a very powerful feature that makes articles much more unique. For example, if we have something like re relax and read a book, Spin Rewriter knows that the word book belongs to the verb read and it can change relax and read around this word and but take book with the verb read. So we get read a book and relax. This is extremely helpful, extremely powerful and adds a lot of uniqueness. So that was in terms of ENL semantic spinning features on the level of sentences and paragraphs. Now let's move over to words and phrases. Now lately I found myself using this most readable option a lot by telling Spinner Rider that it should only use synonyms that are definitely correct. But that's because I'm mostly generating unique articles where I get one original article, I process it with, with Spin Rewriter and I usually just want to create like 10 or 15 unique articles instead of 500 unique articles. So this depends on what you're going to use the generated unique articles for. If you're going to convert each starting article into 500 unique articles, then you should go with the recommended option. But if you know in advance that you're only going to generate like 5 or 10 or maybe 15 unique articles from each original art article, then it makes sense to go with the most readable option. Now another thing I do is I tell Spin Rewriter to automatically protect all capitalized words. So if there are any brand names like Porsche and Ferrari in this case, and if there are any names of people in the articles, by clicking this button those will never get changed. So those all capitalized words will be automatically protected and not be touched by Spin Rewriter. And then if we go to advanced settings, I definitely tell Spin Rewriter to automatically start the one-click rewriter process in step two. I'll show you why in a minute. And I'm definitely using enable hyperspeed because it cuts down the one-click rewrite average processing time for a 500 word article on my computer from almost two minutes down to just 11 or 12 seconds, which is insane to me. Now lately I've stopped using the multi-level nested spinning as much as, as I've used it before, so now I'm recommending to leave this setting off. So if you want to take another look, we activate these three settings and we leave the new paragraphs and summaries options off. I'm using the most readable settings, I'm automatically protecting all capitalized words and I want to use one-click rewrite in step to automatically end do it quickly, you know, with hyperspeed. So 
Let's confirm the settings here and click the rewrite article button so we can move to step two. Now SpinRider is analyzing the meaning and preparing the synonyms and then ranking the synonyms, evaluating them, looking at the context of words to, to pick really the best, best suggestions for each individual word. So as we've, as we've wanted, SpinRider has now run the one-click rewrite here in step two automatically and it took all of like 11, 12 seconds as I was expecting before. And as you can see, we got all of this article spin tags with all of these suggestions right off the bat. And these are great suggestions because we picked the most readable option. So there's not much else we can do here. These are all the settings we picked before as are these. So the settings here are just like uh, a subset of settings that are available to us in step one. So sometimes I do some minor tweaks if I see some synonyms that might not be perfect, but using these settings, all of the synonyms are usually perfect. So when I get here in about a minute, I just click finalize article, which moves me to step three. So we get the success message. I can close this. And now we are in step three and we can generate unique versions of this article. So this is the spin text that we're wor working with and we can try generating a unique article right now. Now we have the article here and it looks really good and it's 87% unique, but we can, we can do better than that. So let's open the settings here. And this first option is extremely, extremely important. We should tell spin rewriter, to never use original words when synonyms are available. I'll give you an example. For example, our original article used the word car and then Spin Rewriter suggested the synonym vehicle. Now, if we use this option, never use original words when synonyms are available, then Spin Rewriter is never going to use the word car where it appeared originally and will always replace it with the word vehicle. So automatically, all of those words from our original article will automatically never appear in any of our generated unique articles, which gives us so much higher uniqueness of generated articles. Another thing I definitely pick is this, enrich articles with headings, bullet points, and so on. Now let's activate this option and I'll show you what happens. As you can see, Porsche or Ferrari here is written in the same font as the rest of the text, just like in the original article. But now with, with this option enabled, if we generate a unique article, this was automatically converted into a heading. And all of those subheadings were also automatically converted to be bolder and bigger. Now, this is the main heading has been made a little bit bigger still, than the subheadings, but it's all different from the regular text. So this is just extremely, extremely helpful in terms of enriching our article and making it just that much more appealing to potential readers. And as I mentioned before, we should never use original words when synonyms are available. Now, just as, as an example, we can now go to relevant images, click the suggestion here, Porsche, pick some videos of Porsches or images of Porsches and start adding two images or even three images into each article by wrapping text around them. And this is one of our unique articles. Now we can compare it side by side with the original article. And as you can see, this is the article we started with. This is now completely unique with added subheadings, bold text, with added images that are relevant, that are spread across the article that look great. And even the paragraphs have been shaped differently than they were in our original article. And the article is now 98% unique, which is exactly what we've been going for. So it's all pretty impressive. And I have to say, even though we created Spin Rewriter, every time I use it, I'm, I still get the same feeling. I'm still blown away by how well it works. And I know it's kind of funny, but that's exactly what happens. I'm so proud of the team of the product we've created. And I know that it's already helped literally dozens of thousands of SEO professionals out there. And I'm hoping it will help you to and take your business to the next level because that's what we're all about. All we want is to help our amazing users. So thank you for being one of our incredible users. Thank you for using Spin Rewriter and have a great day.